Hello everyone, and welcome to Left of Meta. This is a series that I'm doing to highlight decent to good sets that can be good for newer players to acquire due to the ease of acquiring them compared to more meta sets like Reliquin, Sororia, and such that require going to Trials. A couple of ground rules for this. These have to be Overland, PvP, Crafted, or from base game dungeons. And they're going to be tested alongside more meta sets, which will be linked in the which will be listed in the video and linked in the description. For stamina characters, these will usually be Leviathan, Maelstrom Bow, and some other monster set. For magicka characters, these will usually be Mother's Sorrow, the Maelstrom Staff, and some other monster set. For healers, this will be Spell Power Cure some mo a monster set and usually the master's restoration staff and for tank this will be ebon armory and another monster set with that with all of that out of the way let's talk about this week's set this week's set is called torog's pact it is a crafted set found in the base game and can be crafted at fisherman's isle in grotwood hammer death workshop in stormhaven and Lake Hlalu Retreat in Deshaun. This set grants the following benefits. At two items, it grants 1,487 armor. At three items, it grants 1,206 maximum health. At three items, it grants 1,487 armor. And at five items, it decreases the weapon enchantment cooldown by 33% and increases non-oblivion damage weapon enchantments by 45%. This video also includes the Tremor Scale monster set found in Veteran Volenfell. This set is very good for a starting out tank. Part of that is because it gives a really good 2, 3, and 4. It's got good health and armor, all of which are useful for tanks, especially when you're starting out and have lower CP than other people will. Secondly, bonuses to enchantments are good, especially on tanks where you want to be running the Crusher enchantment, and this amplifies it to a rather massive amount. Which is good because Crusher gives our DPS more damage because it makes it easier for them to deal as much damage as they can be to the target. Because Crusher increases penetration, and right now pretty much every DPS needs a little bit of extra pen. Crusher's usually good for that. Torog's is helpful if you don't have access to something like Crimson Oath's Rive, which is not yet out, or Alkosh, which is a trial set. However, enchantments only affect a single target at a time, which means that while Torog's is good, it's only going to be affecting one person, so you're probably going to want to keep this up on the boss and on no one else. And it's not going to be useful in ad packs. All in all, this is a very good set for starting out as a tank. It's a good set of starting pen. It's really easy to use and maintain. All you need to do is enchant your staff with Crusher, keep up Wall of Elements, and you're good. And it's a crafted set, so you shouldn't have very much trouble getting it. That being said, the single target downside makes it start to fall off at later levels. But with that out of the way, that is everything we have to talk about this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And... Next week, we will be talking about Shadow of Red Mountain. So if you're looking forward to that, please tune in next week. And until then, good luck, stay safe, and don't die.